Greetings in Hotep. I need to give a verbal apology to, um, I'm going to say, Jay McCaskill. Um, what has it been, 19 years ago when I called you and said, hey, if you're not married and you are not in a relationship, come see me. See me so we can have sex, right? Because I was trying to leave the guy that I was currently dating. And if I didn't have sex with somebody else, I was going to have sex with him again. And he switched religions on me. And I just knew I wasn't going to be able to put up with it at that time. His story is different, so I'm telling mine. Now, um, when I found out I was pregnant, I told you it was either his baby or your baby. I had prayed for twins. The other guy was talking about twins. So I was at the abortion clinic. Remember, you took me. They took a sonogram. They said I was eight weeks. I was probably more than that. But you know how they are. They want to get that money. Um, they said I could do the abortion. And after I found out that I was pregnant with twins because I prayed for twins, I saw that as a sign from God not to kill my blessing. So I told you I didn't want to get the abortion. I was going to raise the children without you. So if you gave somebody money for an abortion, I don't know who took it, but it wasn't me. Those $55 you paid by credit card back in, I think it was what, December 5th, uh, 2003. Um, that's what it feels like. December or maybe February I can't remember and I don't want to make this video too long but that was the last monies I've ever gotten from you so I asked you were you married or in a relationship now if you were married or you were in a relationship that was not on me because I asked we hadn't seen each other in a while um, and I know I told you I'd raise the children without your help, but my son at eight years old started saying, Mom, I want to know my dad. I want to know my dad. And I hadn't anticipated that happening. I met so many other terrible things happen. They were taken from me into DCF custody and a lot of crazy-ish. I don't know if you had anything to do with those things, but it didn't make any sense that they would take a mother's children who was not crazy, schizophrenic, or any of those things. I was an activist at the time. I think my family had some underhanded dealings um, to do with it, just like I'm finding out now that somebody's probably been extorting you and taking money from you to keep the secret of these children from your wife. Give her my sincere condolences. Um, I had no idea. I really hope and pray that you all can stay together. If what I'm listening to, I'm listening to tarot readings and that's where I'm getting this information to make your life worse because most people I meet they try to pretend like they're great Christians when they're really closet witches that's another whole story though so I haven't gotten any money from you if you've been giving money to somebody it ain't me my brother who adopted my children did ask who their father was I said it's either J McCaskill or P and I'm not going to say the other person's last name because it's very unique and everybody's going to know so I'm going to say PH Jr. Um, you know, both, both of you all are in that life where, you know, you're trying to present yourself as being so great and wonderful and there's nothing wrong with it. Um, you know, live your life. So I apologize. I wrote you this note and, um, I'm going through H-E double hockey sticks. Somebody is stealing every piece of money I can get my hands on. I have been doing a lot of praying and manifestation and great wealth has been coming to me, but it's been going out the back door to other people. I finally got the opportunity this year to start law school and none of that is happening. This was going to be the year I open my school and start law school and somebody's working against that. Probably somebody I know intimately whose couch I've laid on, whose bed I've laid in. They've been cutting my hair. I've been under heavy black magic and basically they're trying to kill me. I almost look dead, but I'm still walking. So God is good. And as I'm finding things out, I'm able to correct the things that are going wrong. So take care of yourself. I will be praying um, that you all can make it. 
if what she's saying is true, which is your wife is angry, she punched you in the face, and somebody's been extorting you for money. So it's not me. That's the whole purpose. I no longer live on 32nd Street. I was evicted June 2nd, 2022. I contacted you a couple of times trying to find out if I could stay in that house over in St. Pete. And I'm thinking that, um, I guess it's a fake friend of mine or ex, I don't know um, what he was to me really. It seems like he was a con artist from the beginning. D Flowers, maybe the one that was taking this money from you. I was talking to him one time and I was like, I'm going to contact him. And he was like, oh no, don't do that. And so... I don't really know how he plays into this. It's just amazing me the things that I'm finding out. But um, I know we can all get through it. Take care.